Elhamdülillah. Elhamdülillah. Nehmeduhu ve nestaînuhu ve nestağfiruhu ve nu'minu bi ve netevekkelu aleyh. Ve na'uzu billahi min şurur yenfusina ve min seyyiyyati amalina. Men yehdillahu fela mudillalahu ve men yudlilu fela ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فقال الله تعالى بالقرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد سبحان الذي أسرى بعبده ليلا من المسجد الحرام إلى المسجد الأقصى الذي باركنا حوله لنريه من آياتنا إنه هو السميع البصير آمن بالله صدق الله العظيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد ما طلب المنوان وتعاقب الأسران وكر الجديدان واستقل الفرقدان وبلغ روحه وأرغم أهل بيته من التهية والسلام بارك وسلم عليه كثيرا 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 My dear respected elders السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is a month of رجب المرجب شريف In this month the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, went to heavens with the invitation from Allah the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that today our topic is about Mirajun Nabi sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa barik wa sallam. In this topic, three parts are available. One, when the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, started travel from Masjid Haram to Masjid Aqsa. Meanwhile, what happened and what was reasons for the travel of the beloved Prophet Muhammad to the heavens? I have recited verse of the Holy Quran beginning from 15th para Subhanallazi asra bi abdihi laylam min al-masjid al-haram ila al-masjid al-aqsa Allazi barakna hawlahu linuriyahu min ayatina innahu huwa al-samiyu al-basir Fatiha Hussain jo apne bandhe ko رات و رات لے گیا مسجد حرام سے مسجد اقصہ تک جس کے گردہ گرد ہم نے برکت رکھی کہ ہم اسے اپنی عظیم نشانیاں دکھائیں بے شک وہ سنتا دیکھتا ہے اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی سے گلوری بی ٹو ہم وہ ٹھوک ہز ڈیووٹی پروفٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وآلہ وسلم فور اسرا the exalted night visit from Masjid al-Haram, the sacred mosque in Makkah, to the Masjid al-Aqsa, the distance mosque in Jerusalem. 
the surrounding of which we Allah have blessed that we Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might show him some of our grand signs. Surely he alone is the hearing, the knowing. This was starting from beginning of 15th Sparha. My dear brothers, this is a long story. When the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa went to heaven. Actually, when the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam announced, I am the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that time, there so many unbelievers, they made enemies of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That time, they gave too much difficulties, problems, and punishment to the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Blah Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam explained them about the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O peoples, only one God, there is none worthy of worship except Allah, and I am the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That time, so many unbelievable peoples, they made enemies of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Before this announcement, before this announcement, <coughs> unbeliever people, Kufar or Mushrikeen or other religions they had, they declared Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, is a great, honest, beautiful, pious person. But when the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, explained them, announced, I am the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that time they made enemies. They gave too much punishment, <coughs> difficulties, and they created so many problems. The only prophet, peace be upon him, was the patient, meaning very honestly was living there, did not give them answers, did not fight with them. When the only prophet, peace be upon him, was announcing to the peoples of Taif, O people, you accept Allah as a God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is only able for worship. You offer worship only for Allah the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I am messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Accept my statements because these are all statements of Allah azza wa jal. But they did not accept and they gave punishment and difficulties and injured, injured to the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When the blood of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came the feet of, feet of them, that time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to Hazrat Jibreel alayhi wa with angels of the mountains and requested, O beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala say, we are coming from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and I have angels of mountains. If you wish, we can demolish to all valley. We can join to both mountains and between the valley can be demolished, can be finished can be clean from this earth. But the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent me as a blessing for blessings so that I supplications, I prayer in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, oh my God, they don't know about myself, about my spiritual ranks so that please give them a right path. At that time, Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, says, I am seeing to creations of them, they will accept to the religion, religion Islam, 
and they will come at the right path. At that time, when the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, was too much worried, injured, and under difficulties, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to the holy angel, the great angels of Jibrail al-Islam with invitations. <coughs> that time, Hazrat Jibrail al-Islam, a present at the forward of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he was sleeping in the house of Hazrat Abu Talib, meaning the daughter of Abu Talib, sister of the Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Ummi Hani. There the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, was sleeping. At that time, angels came and Jibra'il came and requested, first of all, the Hazrat Jibra'il kissed at the feet of the Holy Prophet Muhammad When the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, felt the coolness of the lips of the Hazrat Jibra'il and wake up and ask him, O Jibra'il, what is message? What is invitation? What is saying? As Jibrail al Islam requested, O Ya Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Alayhi wa Ali wa Barik Sallam, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala is remembering you in the heaven at the Arsha Ilahi. Then the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, started travel from Masjidul Haram. Masjidul Haram meaning Makkatul Mukarram, Kaaba Sharif, Baitullah Sharif. Some people, they asked one question, Haram is what is the meaning of Haram? Mostly we are saying Haram, prohibited items or these are all Haram items not allowed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Holy Prophet peace be upon him had stopped from them. No one can use, no one can eat, no one can drink, no one can touch everything. But this haram is meaning hurmat, respectable place. Respectable place, shaire islam. A, a respectable land. This is haram meaning respectable place. So from respectable mosque, Masjid Masjidul Haram. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, started travel from the Masjidul Haram. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to Jibrail al-Islam with the lightful conveyance, meaning bura. Lightful conveyance meaning bura. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent this conveyance from the paradise. And speed of this conveyance was up to sight. When our sight will be reached, first step will be there. That time the Holy Prophet Muhammad started travel by the lightful conveyance, meaning bra. And then the Holy Prophet Muhammad started travel. So in meaning of this word, Paki hai usse jo apne bande ko rato raat le gya masjid-e haram se masjid-e aqsa tak jiske girda girda hum ne barakat rakhi ke hum isse apni azim nishaniyah dikhayin beshak woh sunta dekhta hai. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said the glory be to him who took his devotee prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alayhi wa sallam from Masjid al-Haram to Masjid al-Aqsa. Then we explain to people and we show them about signs and miracles and respective place. Then, my dear brothers, this is a long story. But, but in three parts, inshallah, I will explain. First, is travel from Masjid al-Haram to Masjid al-Aqsa. Then second is Masjid al-Aqsa to Arshay Ilahi. And after what happens, inshallah, in three stories, 
I will explain you about, about all matters. So, for the happiness of beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Allah subhanahu wa taala called to the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the arsh ilahi in the heavens. My dear brother, at that time, the Hazrat Jibrail alayhi salam requested Allah subhanahu wa taala send the invitation. <coughs> So that calling you at Arshay Ilahi. Then Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa by the conveyance, rightful conveyance, started travel from Masjid al Haram. Meanwhile, he sallallahu alayhi wa saw to the Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. He was offering prayer in the grave. As the Musa alayhi salam, he was offering prayer in the grave. Today, some people they don't believe, they have not believed. They said, if anyone he has died, after a few months he will mix in the clay, so that he has not any body, any improvement, or he has died. This is not good, my dear brothers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had adjusted the rules and regulations and arrangements. Any unbelievers, the system is different. For believers, system is different. For saint of God, Holy Ikram, the system of difference. For the great saints and followers and companions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, system is different. I think you have seen or you have watched eclipse on uh, Facebook. When the Hazrat, the Hazrat Jabbar ta'ala no, and Hazrat Huzaifa ta'ala, he came in the dream of kings and came in the dream of chief justice that time, the water is coming in our grave so that you shift to our bodies at other place. Three, four times they came in the grave. At that time, government was a, king was a Shah Faisal. And the chief justice, chief justice of Arab, he went <coughs> forward of Faisal, King Faisal and uh, explain to him about all dream. From few days, I am watching these dreams. They are conveying message, the water is coming in our grave, so that you shift to your body at other place. After four, fifth time, <coughs> King Faisal agreed. <coughs> And uh, with under the custody of army, the chief justice and King Faisal and other people, they went at the grave of Hazrat Uzafar ta'ala no. He was a companion and follower of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Hazrat Jabbar ta'ala no. Both was a companion and followers of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wa wasallam and near about. Near about 500,000 people was there. At the front of 500,000 people, this clip is available. 500,000 people that time was available there. And uh, they opened to the grave of the Hazrat Huzafa ta'ala no, and Hazrat Jabbar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And my dear, dear brother, at that time, bodies of them, bodies, bodies of them, the bodies of them are available here. 14 hundreds, after 14 hundreds years, at front of 500,000 people, after 14 hundred years, the bodies of them was Fresh as the same as today, they have put it them. 
It's great to swear it. But some people, they don't believe, they don't believe about the Hayatun Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They said after death, all people, they have mixed in clay. No good. My dear brothers, this is a sign near the Qiyama. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had appeared the sign and show the sign to people after 1400 years with proof if anyone he will deny and he will get a punishment. Meaning if anyone he will deny his faith, his belief will be finished. My, my dear brother, we were <coughs> talking about the travel of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam travel from the Masjid Haram to Masjid Aqsa, Masjid Aqsa to in heavens at Arsh Ilahi. Today, first part we are explaining about first part. The Holy Prophet, when the Holy Prophet peace be upon him was going to the Masjid Aqsa. Meanwhile, the beloved Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw to the Hazrat Musa alaihi salam. He was offering prayer in the grave. He was offering prayer in the grave. Allah Akbar. Isa alayhi salam ki jaya waladat se guzre guzrte huye masjid aqsa mein pounche jaya tamam anbiya alayhi salatu salam muntazir te. Allah After the Holy Prophet peace be upon him reached in the masjid aqsa there all messengers were waiting, was waiting, all messengers were waiting for the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu <coughs> And there the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa offered prayer and need prayers. All messengers, they offered prayer behind the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi no, so many questions can come in your brain. Maybe so many questions are coming in your brain. How can all messengers can come in Masjid Aqsa after death? My dear brother, this is the adjustment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah the Almighty, who is Allah the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala who has created to earth? No one can measure to all earth. Who has created to seas? No one can no one can measure or idea or judgment, depth of them and the areas of them. With one order, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Kun fayakun hoja bas hoge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave order, then be completed. Who has created to sun? Today, scientists are declaring about distance from earth to sun, near about, about a million, million miles <coughs> distance. Who has created to sun? With one order. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that this is not difficult for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if anyone, some people, <coughs> some people they have a different things about the Mirajun Nabi sallallahu ta'ala alayhi sallam. <coughs> some people they said Jibrail went there. <coughs> Jibrail is bringing invitation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so many times Jibrail alayhi salam has been present at the front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was travel for the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Holy Prophet peace be upon him, traveled with body, with self, with soul and with body. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to Burak, lightful conveyance, Burak from the paradise. It's not difficult for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where from? This time, where is the body of Hazrat Isa al-Islam? The body of Hazrat Isa al-Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala picked, picked up in the heavens, alive, 
with soul and with body. Isa al-Islam will come back near Qiyama at the tower of mosque of Damascus. This is the adjustment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where from created the <coughs> female camels of Hazrat A. Salih al Islam. Where from created the female camels created from the mountains. And that time the camel had a child in stomach. This is a miracles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can everything. As the Yunus al-Islam, near about 40 days or 18 days, different royal, different declaration. As the Yunus al-Islam was in the stomach of a fish, and fish was uh, traveling under the sea, in water, at different places. But his Yunus Islam was alive in the storm. This is all adjustment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can everything. You know, what is distance from the Masjid al-Haram to Masjid al-Aqsa? How many miles? <laughs> no, 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 miles. About to near about about to 3,000 miles. In one, in one step or in few minutes or few seconds, the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, reach there. These are all adjustment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from there, from Masjid al-Aqsa, the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, started travel to heaven. Inshallah, I will explain to you next Friday about what happened from uh, what is story from the Masjid Aqsa to Arshid Ilahi. My dear brothers, we can correct our belief. When I watch these clips, then I send to all Muslim brothers this message. Oh, my dear brothers, this is a great example for you. Some people, they said after, after death, after death, they will be finished. They will mix up in clay. Why? If anyone, he will mix up in the clay, who will give answer? Man dinuka, man rabbuka. Kunta taquluna fi haqqe hazar rajul. The angel will ask him, angel will ask him about his, about his life, about his belief. If he has a death, die, he can't talk, he can't listen. If he will mix in clay, who will get a punishment, a grave punishment? The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, says, the grave is from hellfire or from paradise. If anyone, he, will, he has died, he will mix in clay, in Saudi Arabia, I have listened, did not see, but so many people, they said, the, uh, when anyone, he, had, he died, he rubbed the chemicals upon his body. After a few months, they see the body is good in position or not. If his body has uh, finished, his meat has finished, skin has finished, only bones are there, they collect bones, and throw in sea. It's not good. It's against the religion Islam. Religion Islam is not giving permission, my dear brother. Over religion Islam has been completed. No one can amendments, no one can demolish, no one can has changing, no, no one can alterations because over religion Islam has been completed. <laughs> So, my dear brothers, this is a, this is a great miracle of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah subhanahu wa taala granted 